Clarence Avon, whose unofficial moniker as the Black Godfather spanned across the realms of music, sports, entertainment, and politics, passed away on Sunday at his residence in Los Angeles, as confirmed by a statement released by his family. Although no specific cause of death was disclosed, Avon, aged 92, left behind a profound legacy that touched numerous spheres of influence. The Avon slash Sarandos family shared a poignant announcement, expressing their sorrowful hearts as they conveyed the passing of Clarence Alexander Avon. Fondly recognized as the Black Godfather, he etched his revolutionary mark in the domains of music, entertainment, politics, and sports through his pioneering business acumen. His departure leaves behind not only a loving family but also a vast network of friends and associates who, with their actions, have already shaped and will continue to transform the world for generations to come. Clarence passed away peacefully at his home in Los Angeles on August 13, 2023. The life and achievements of Clarence Savon are an extensive tapestry, woven with a diverse array of accomplishments. Embarking initially as a nightclub manager, he steered his path through the 1960s by overseeing the careers of notable figures like Lala Schifrin and Jimmy Smith. Subsequently, he ventured into establishing two record labels, thereby introducing talents such as Bill Withers, Sixto Rodriguez, and the dynamic duo of Jimmy Jam Terry Lewis to the world stage. His influence extended even further when he facilitated the sale of the iconic Stax records during the late 1960s. Three decades later, he ascended to the position of chairman of the board at Motown Records, and significantly, he became the first African-American board member at Polygram. Breaking new ground, he pioneered the launch of one of the earliest entirely black-owned radio stations. Throughout the 1970s, he took an unwavering stance in support of black culture, offering his guidance as a consultant to MGM and ABC. His involvement wasn't limited to the entertainment sphere alone. He served as an advisor to several U.S. presidents, including Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, George Bush, and Barack Obama. Yet, perhaps his most esteemed role emerged as a mentor within the music industry. He was a beacon of guidance for a diverse array of individuals, from L.A. Albon's influence extended beyond managerial duties. Notably, he encouraged NFL star Jim Brown to explore an acting career, reading Babyface to Sylvia Roan. Gerald Busby, and Jimmy Iovini. His engagement with politics traced back to the 1960s, and in recognition of his exceptional contributions, he was slated to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on October 7. Longtime friend and collaborator Quincy Jones encapsulated Avon's impact in the industry by stating, Everyone in this business has been by Clarence's desk. If they're smart. During a comprehensive interview with Variety in 2016, Avon reflected on his career trajectory and drew inspiration from his mentor. Joe Glazer, the former manager of Louis Armstrong and Barbara Streisand. This mentorship philosophy urged him to set his sights high, a sentiment he eloquently expressed, it all goes back to something Joe Glazer taught me, aim high. You can't walk up the Empire State Building, you'll get tired, your knees might give out. But you can ride the elevator and walk down. You always aim up here and walk down later if you have to. Born on February 25, 1931, in Greensboro, North Carolina. Avon's journey unfolded against the backdrop of the challenges and adversities of segregation. Rising to prominence in the 1960s, he managed the careers of luminaries such as Schifrin, Smith, and groundbreaking blues artist Little Willie John. His influence extended to singer Sarah Vaughan and jazz producer Creed Taylor with his pivotal contract negotiations for the latter making him a recognized dealmaker in the music industry. In 1968, he orchestrated the sale of the legendary Stax Records, although the deal ultimately spelled misfortune for the company's founders, leading to its eventual bankruptcy several years later. <laughs>